So we got pregnant. So we got pregnant and we got pregnant with twins. And we had gone for the scans. We had seen the heartbeats. Um, at this point, actually, very, very few people know when this happened. Every report that you have heard is a lie because nobody knew when it happened. <laughs> um, so, um, and we, we um, saw the heartbeats. Everything was okay. And then during a routine checkup, we went back to the hospital to have a scan. And I just saw the doctor's face. You know when, you know when a doctor, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. When something is wrong, sometimes you can tell. And she was scanning, she was scanning, and I was like, what's wrong? She's like, oh, nothing, I'm just, you know. And then I looked at the nurse's face, and she looked a bit funny too, and I was like, what's wrong? She was like, Adiswa, I'm looking for the heartbeat. And I said, for two of them? And she said, yes. And I'm actually not going to lie, I started laughing, <laughs> because it didn't, it didn't make any sense to me. I was just like, what do you mean you can't find the heartbeats of both? And... She said, yeah. So, and so we, um, I, I went home. Banky wasn't home at the time. Mm -hmm. So I went home and I remember being in our living room. When I was at the hospital, I actually laughed. I was like, God knows, God knows. Mm -hmm. Then when I got home, I literally collapsed on the floor and I wailed. Wailing is not the same thing as crying. Mm -hmm. Wailing is a deep groaning in your chest. It's like a knot that you can't get rid of. And I'm sharing this because so many women go through this, but nobody talks about it because it's almost like a thing of shame for whatever reason. And I don't know why, because you don't control your body. You don't create yourself. Um, it's funny how we can accept that every other organ might need help. You can get a heart transplant. You can get help with your kidneys. But when it comes to the reproductive organs, it's like a dirty topic nobody wants to talk about. And I think it's really important that we talk about it. So we decided that over the weekend we were going to pray because God is a God that cannot do. There's nothing he cannot do. Impossible is nothing with him. So we're going to go back on Tuesday or Monday, I forget now, for a scan, believing that God will come through. And um, Monday or Tuesday rolled around and we went back for the scan. And not only did we not see heartbeats, the embryos were shrinking. So they were decaying and they were dying. This was towards the end of the first trimester. When we found out that we were losing them and that we had to do an evacuation, it was a very emotional time and she cried. And you know, as a man, you think you had it. First of all, women are stronger than men. Let me just tell you <laughs> that crying is not a sign of weakness. But as a man, you know, you have been raised to be like, oh, you have to be the man. You have to be strong. You know, you can't shed a tear. So... You know, she's feeling a certain way. She's crying and I'm trying to be there for her. And I'm just, you know, hold, holding her and saying, it's going to be okay. It's okay. But the day that we cried together was the day of the evacuation. An evacuation, for people that don't know, is when they remove the dead embryos. And we go to the hospital. We do the procedure. And Adesua is one of the strongest people that I know. But I had never seen her so frail and in so much pain, emotional and physical. And you know, for somebody like me, whose love language is acts of service, is helping, is fixing the problem, there was absolutely nothing I could do at that time. And we came home from the hospital, and I remember I led her up the stairs, and we got into the couch. And I, I held her in my arms, and we cried. And I'll say it again, it's okay to cry. Having faith in God will not stop you from crying. Yeah. Having faith in God will not stop bad times from coming. It won't stop you from hurting. But your faith in God will help you heal. Yeah. And it will help you get back up. Yeah. And it will help you keep going. And it yeah. will help you get the answer that you're looking for.